Good morning. Welcome to the forecast discussion for Thursday, May 31st, 2018. It's the last day of May in 2018. And tomorrow we start June, which is officially the meteorological start of summer. Well, it'll feel somewhat summer-like. I mean, we'll have temperatures in the upper 60s to lower 70s tomorrow for lows and lower to mid 80s for highs, at least in the Delaware River Valley. But the pattern overall as we head through the first say seven days of June, definitely are not looking summer-like in any way, shape, or form. So we'll talk about that today. As far as this morning, well, temperatures range from the upper 50s to lower 60s along the coast, mid to upper 60s in the Delaware River Valley with areas of low clouds, some fog, reducing visibility below two miles in a few locations, and some widely scattered to isolated showers. When you take a look at the latest surface map, you can see High pressure over the Canadian Maritimes is building south, and we have a stationary front here cutting through the southern mid-Atlantic up through the Ohio River Valley. Now, what's going to happen is that this stationary front is going to lift northward as a warm front, leading to the threat for some isolated to widely scattered showers today and for tomorrow. Not a washout for the entire region, but if you get hit with one of these showers, they're going to be capable of producing some very heavy downpours as a tropical air mass invades the region. On the radar right now, you can see those widely scattered showers developing. A lot of this is not reaching the ground yet, but the showers that do are capable of producing rainfall rates anywhere from a tenth to a quarter of an inch per hour, which can lead to some major ponding on the roadways and also some localized flash flooding. So definitely be on the guard for that. So not everyone will see rainfall, for today and tomorrow but those that do will see quite a bit of it and on the infrared satellite picture you can see that tropical air mass at the mid levels invading the region leading to areas of low and mid level clouds and then at the surface that marine air mass is building in and that's why we have easterly winds in place throughout the region which will veer to the southwest as we move on through the next 24 to 48 hours so let's dive into this forecast for today a warm front will approach the region. Look for winds from the east veering to the southeast. Look for temperatures today to range from the upper 60s to mid 70s along the coast and upper 70s to lower 80s in the Delaware River Valley. Now, these high temperatures will be dependent on two factors. One, the position of the warm front and two, the amount of breaks in the cloud cover as we head towards this afternoon. The more showers you see, obviously the cooler you will be. For tonight on through tomorrow morning, that warm front will continue to slowly press to the north and east. Look for areas of low clouds and fog, a threat for widely scattered showers capable of heavy downpours, lows in the upper 60s to lower 70s. And for tomorrow afternoon, a continued threat for widely scattered showers capable of tropical downpours, Look for high temperatures in the mid to upper 70s along the coast and lower to mid 80s everywhere else. For Saturday, a cold front and waves of low pressure will move through the region. Now, there will be a potential for some moderate to heavy rainfall, especially towards the evening hours. Temperatures on Saturday will range from the upper 60s to lower 70s for lows and mid to upper 70s for highs. On Sunday, another wave of low pressure will pass through the region with some widely scattered showers in the morning, followed by scattered cloud cover in the afternoon. Cooler conditions are expected with lows in the lower 60s and highs in the upper 60s to lower 70s. On Monday, another area of low pressure will approach. Scattered cloud cover is expected, but an isolated shower cannot be ruled out. Look for lows in the lower 50s, highs in the mid to upper 60s. On Tuesday, another area of low pressure will pass through with a few isolated showers in the morning and in the evening. Look for lows in the lower 50s, highs in the upper 60s to lower 70s. On Wednesday, a weak trough will linger over the region, leading to the threat for a few widely scattered showers, otherwise scattered cloud cover is expected. Look for temperatures to range from the mid-50s for lows and mid-60s for highs. And on Thursday, Another weak short wave will linger around, leading to variable cloud cover and isolated showers. Otherwise, look for lows in the lower to mid 50s and highs in the mid 60s. That is your forecast discussion for today. Thank you for following NYNJPA weather. And as always, stay safe out there.